Narrabo, Narrabo, Narrabo Will. Who's he? No idea. I shall tell you who he is. It's one of those nasty little boatmen. It lives on a boat. How disgusting. Photographer, uh, and this chap here, he was moored behind me, and he was doing something down here, magnet fishing or diving or something. But the island I'm more up on, uh, I can't get off it. I didn't know that. This zip, uh, it's bust there for starters. I was zipping it up last night, and the zip just come off and fell into the. Well, it fell on the deck, and uh, half fell in the water. Um, it's aluminium I think, I can't recover it. So there's a place, I'm at Haunton here, uh, about a mile down the road, there's a canopy repair, so they can fit a new zip for me. Got my bike, hope it's not too expensive. Let's find out, Rippeth. I had to moor up on private land, so I could get here. Uh, beautiful place, isn't it? mile up the road. Just hope nobody turns up to that mooring before I get back. It's at hopefully the end of this road. Has to be uphill, didn't it? Oh it's all uphill lot. Oh bloody hell. <laughs> oh dear. Why can't we get into village from that mooring? I can't believe it. It's like an island, there's a moat around it. he said oh brilliant well, I think I've got a puncture as well so I'm racing to get back crikey to uh, this is private land so and there's no way off the island I've just been told to get into the village unless you've got a boat that's good because there's no way on there's no footfall oh what a palaver! I think I've got a puncture. No, I haven't. That's what I had. I'm really pumping up. Well, that uh, canopy, the zip was 50 quid. Uh, it's going to sell me a stud kit for 13 quid and it's going to do the rest. So £63 all, all together to fix that zip and put some patches on. Which is not bad, back by tomorrow, he said. That's the canopy sorted out. There's always some bill coming in, there's always something coming up. <sighs> That's just life in general, isn't it? It's a bit weird sitting here with all this all this openness behind me and no canopy over me, you know? Protecting me from knife crime, nuclear bombs, terrorist attacks. Yeah, you know, better canvas, it's uh, protection from a lot, you know? God, it's so hot today, it's amazing. About 20 degrees. And it's September the 29th. Oh, it's my daughter's birthday tomorrow, I better call her up. Oof, otherwise bollockings. I was checking my anode and I noticed these little, tiny little insects that jump on and off the boat. That was weird. And there's one over here. They come up, they come up from underneath the water lot and jump onto your boat. Ever so strange. Like little whirly gigs or whatever they're called. Ignore the painting that he's doing. What? Those things. Oh, 
roads are so clear here. You can see the anodes a lot. They still look alright, don't they? I think what worries me is the sacrificial uh, line that goes down there. It's getting a bit thin just there. I had, had that welded on last time. You see it there? I had that welded on to protect the weld of the base plate. I think we might need another one just down there. Mm, hello! Look at the trees in the distance. Looks like they're on fire, doesn't it? Because, because of the sunset. It's getting stronger and stronger. Isn't that stunning? Trying to hold it still. It's too difficult. I have, I have to take my boat to the other side of the uh, river, come down here to go into the village every time I want to go shopping, and uh, or go back to the canopy place now. And then come on. This is, uh, I think it's a mill museum. You can go in here and have a look around. How it used to uh, used to work and function in its day. Beautiful little area. I love these little villages. I love, I love the house designs. Uh, each one is different. You might get one or two that's the same. They must have got their own designers in and builders, you know. Amazing little uh, little places. Always oh, a cracking little car garage with all these classic cars. The old, the old MGs look, the old Morrises and stuff. Beautiful. I've got this back. My new zip on is also made a patch. Um, He's put a hole through it for me as well, look, so I can put... I bought this kit off him here, look. Got a little punch on it. 13 quid. I can make my own studs now, so... Oh, fabulous. So I've just got to put two new ones on there. And that's repaired. And from now on, I've got to tuck it in. He's changed a new zip on. Let's try that. Ah, can't do it with one hand. Oh, I can. Oh, that's so much better. Oh, lovely. £60 for all that. I tell you what, that wind has really picked up out there. I had to... Look at that. I had to try more up. I had to try more up over there. And the wind was blowing me off. It's all my strength just to hold the boat and get a spike in so I can get off. And I can cycle back because otherwise you can't... There's an island here. You can't get off this island at all. Wow. Right, fantastic. Put it on now. Put those studs on. Fantastic. This comes with this little, little splaying tool, so you can splay that. Give that a whack and splay it out. This is the splaying. You put it underneath here. Put that into, put that into there. Like so. Then you, you bang that on top. Display it out with one whack on a on a hard surface, not on the sofa. Uh, yeah, so I'll try that. I'll probably use that little thing there, not hey. Eh? Let's try it, Pippith. What I've got to do is um, put that under there, I, th I believe. First time I've done this, and then give that a smack. Deep enough. Sit. That's how, I think that's how you do it. There we are. A bit more wacky, I think. Oh, wacky backy. That's not. That's it. A bit further down. I think that's it. It's it though. See that difference? And that's it. Simple. So I've got another one to do there. So 
So let's do that one. Do the second one. Oh, that was a bit better. That. So if you hold it down with your fingers, I find it's a bit better like that. I think that's that's pretty good, isn't it? I think the proof's in the pudding. Let's go and put it up. I've just put it up and it started raining. That's perfect timing. Can't get any more perfect than that. Oh, I'm so relieved that's fixed now and I've got that kit as well. Yeah, I said it's going to rain heavy this afternoon, so fire's on. It's very warm in here, very hot. Oh, that bloody door's open. Oh, what? Left the door open. What a plonker. Alright, storm blowing. There's a hoolie out there. wash I'm in by the fire six o'clock at night it's getting dark out there got a the fire on eee, lovely well I've been here I've been here two days now it's how windy it is look at that flapping about wow it's so windy uh, I need to get to St Ives so I can get some shopping because you can't this island you can't get off, get off it you know like I've told you before, you have to moor over there to get off, so... Let's get going to St Ives and get some shopping and get off further up, alright? churches you know they just don't know oh, it was a bell tower is it real was it a lookout post was it a bell tower was it a fortress in its time over the hundreds and hundreds of years these places have been used for everything haven't they say so only they could talk tell us the truth You can look at the records, yeah, they're written by the hand of the of the victors, aren't they? They're always uh, you can never trust you can never trust the, the handwritten history. It's written by the victors, you know, just like today. You got Biden, he's gonna write a story about himself, isn't he? Because it's so egotistical. And about his, his campaign and stuff like that. That's what that's what happens. So you get a distorted view of the real real history of what are you going on on aren't you about this stuff I know I find it interesting we can't be a good luck break all we got to do is fill it up open that gate open that gate over the bridge close that gate, close that gate fill it up empty it run down there then empty it fill it up whatever yeah here we go 
these grey herons uh, are the Mr. Burns of uh, the wildlife. They remind me of uh, the Simpsons character, Leaf the Hounds. but I remember everything in the pound shop being a pound that's why it was a pound shop Poundland. I did get some very handy 2.5 meter charging cables from there for about three quid just down from St Ives you've got the, these lovely goba moorings at 48 hours Well, half, half eight now in October feels like half six in the morning. Do you know what I mean? Let me tighten that up. Look at those skies a lot. It's got really weird shape to it. It's got this rays coming down. Fabulous, isn't it? I've been here for been here for one night, this Gober Moorings, 48 hour. Look how clear the water is. You see that? I love those reflections on the water. Looks like we had a frost last night. Anyway, it's time to get off. If you can, if you want to, just press subscribe and like. Thank you.